Today's the big day. My daughter Danielle is in her first championship soccer match. She's the star player on the team. She has a mother's beauty and my athletic ability. We are so proud of her. This is really a big day for our family. So much so that we've invited family from out of town to come in to watch her play. And we're looking forward to it as the game is tonight. Oh boy, it's my boss, Mr. Gilroy. What a toxic boss he is. A real pain in the butt. I wonder what he wants. I hate to answer this phone, but I gotta. Yes, sir. Evans, Evans, you got that report ready yet? I need it and I need it now. Yes, I've made a lot of progress on the Peterson report, but Mr. Gilroy, that report's not due until next Friday. Evans, you got a hearing problem? I told you I need that report and I need it now. Are you stupid or something? No, sir. I do not have a hearing problem. Listen here, Junior. You better have that report ready for me and you better have it ready for me by 10 p.m. tonight. But, sir, tonight is my daughter's championship soccer match. We're having family in from out of town to support her. Mr. Gilroy, tonight is a very important night for our family, sir. Evans, that sounds like a personal problem to me, but it seems to me that your daughter's going to have plenty of support there. You're having guests from out of town coming. Your wife's going to be there. I hardly think that she would even notice that you're there, Evans. Evans, the bottom line is this. You either have that report ready for me by 10 p.m. tonight, or don't worry about coming back in to work. And you, my friend, can take that to the bank. That'll be a check that will easily cash. You know, Evans, you're bright, but you're never gonna make it to the executive ranks. Unlike me, I have an Ivy League education. You know, I have a lot of friends who went to the Ivy League schools and none of them act like this guy. Mr. Gilroy is a piece of work. And you, son, lack the leadership and management skills that is necessary to move up. And Evans, you better fix your attitude. I need that report by 10 p.m. I'm going to be going on vacation. I want to be able to review the project while on vacation. So when I come back, you and I will present it to Mr. Peterson. Mr. Gilroy is a bully boss. He really ticks me off. That guy does nothing but make my life miserable. I hate working here. Now I'm going to have to call my wife and explain to her why I can't make it to our daughter's soccer game tonight. My baby girl is going to be so disappointed at me. But what am I supposed to do? I got to keep my job. <sighs> Time to give Lisa a call. Man, I hate doing this. Hi, Lisa. Um, I'm afraid I got some bad news. Mr. Gilroy is on the warpath again, and uh, he's telling me that I need to um, get this report done by tonight, or otherwise I won't have a job. Tony, come on now. You promised. Honey, honey, you uh, promised that you honey, were going to be at I the know, game. But, 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 Why are you missing this game? This is an important game for our daughter. This is the championship game. You know better. I know no one else is probably working late to get this project done. Come on, you need to stop letting him walk all over you. Get it together. Know your priorities. Come on, you need to support your family. Hello, my friends. This is Daniel Talley, the Note Self Guy, coming at you. Hope everyone is doing well. One thing is very clear. Mr. Gilroy is a bad manager. He is a bully boss, and he is very disrespectful to Tony. But the question remains, how do you handle a difficult boss? Let's see what God has to say about the issue. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as reward. Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. 
So in other words, Mr. Gilroy is not Tony's boss. God is Tony's boss. We are to work our jobs as if God is our boss. In doing so, we give God honor. Typically, when we honor God, good things happen. We get promotions, raises, better job assignments, preferred training locations, recognition, and desired relocations. We must keep our focus on God and not the bad boss that we're working for. When our children do something that brings us honor, what do we do? We normally reward them. And guess what? God's a parent too, and he does the same thing. When we do something to honor him, he rewards us as well. Therefore, if the work that you produce is good enough for God, it ought to be good enough for the dude or the lady that you're working for. And if it is not, there's no shame in your game because you've done your very, very best. It may just be time for you to move on and find another job. Now, Mr. Gearward passes out insults like he's dealing a deck of cards. So what should Tony do? Let's hear from the Lord. If your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault, just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. Matthew chapter 18, verse 15. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Romans chapter 12, verse 18. Tony, you are nobody's verbal punching bag. It is clear, Mr. Gilroy has definitely crossed the line. Boss or no boss, you have every right to tell him that you don't appreciate the way that he's been talking to you and that you should be respected. Now, of course, you need to do all this in a calm and loving manner. Now, for all the Mr. Gilroy's out there, God has a word for you. Masters, provide your slaves with what is right and fair, because you know that you also have a master in heaven. Colossians chapter 4, verse 1. Someday, Mr. Gilroy, you will have to give an account for the way that you treated your employees. All of the episodes produced on the Note to Self Guys YouTube channel is inspired by my award-winning and best-selling book, Note to Self, Faithful Inspiration and Aspiration. If you love my videos, you will absolutely adore this book. The book is about the value of life, but more specifically at its core, it is a book that will help you to foster a better relationship between you and the Lord. I will leave a link in the description in the event that you like to purchase a copy. Now, I will say this, if you guys like this video or like the videos that I've been producing, please do me a favor and hit the like button and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that every time I do one of these videos, it will send you a notification. As always, guys, I appreciate you. I appreciate the support that you give me because I realize that you could be watching something else. Now, let's see what Tony does. Lord, I know you won't put more on me than I can handle, but I need your help. Lord, please give me the strength to continue to honor you in my work. Give me the courage to put Mr. Gilroy in his place when he disrespects me. And Lord, I want to have a job opportunity that will give me a better work-life balance. I will put you first, then Lisa and the kids next. In Jesus' name, amen. What now? It's Mr. Gilroy. Evans, our presentation to Mr. Peterson last week went great. I got the account. Evans, you sent me the wrong figures for the Johnson Project. What's wrong with you, Evans? How stupid can you be? Look, Mr. Gilroy, I am not stupid and I am no one's fool. The figures I sent you were based on the data that you gave me. It's not my fault that the data was incorrect. By the way, this is the last time that you will disrespect me and talk down to me. I am sick and tired of you taking advantage of me and my time. Now, you've been placed in authority over me, so therefore I have to respect your authority. But sir, you have no right to talk to me any kind of way. And from this point forward, you will not do it anymore. And you, sir, can take that to the bank and cash that check. Hmm, what's gotten into you, Evans? I'll send you the correct data. Good morning, this is Tony Evans. How can I help you? Hi there, Tony. My name is Alton Peterson of the Peterson Group. I met you last week. Uh, you gave a presentation with Thaddeus uh, Kilroy. And I have to say, Tony, I was very, very impressed. You really do know your stuff. If I may ask you, uh, what college did you attend? I am a proud graduate of Howard University. Howard is an excellent school. If you don't mind me asking, what is your current level of compensation? I agree. Howard University is a great school. My current salary is $90,000 per year. 
Okay, Tony, let me get to the chase. Here's the reason why I'm calling. I am starting up a brand new company and I think you would be the perfect person for the job. You have the skill set, you have the ability, uh, you would be absolutely perfect. Now, the job pays $180,000 a year with a 25% bonus and there's also stock options there as well. Now, Tony, I have to tell you this. Uh, my company, we have one gigantic rule and that rule is simply this. We work hard here at the Peterson Company, but it's very important that our employees have a good work-life balance. That is very important. Are you interested in working for us, Tony? And when can you start? Wow, that is a very generous offer, Mr. Peterson. Of course, I'll need to speak it up with my wife, but uh, I don't think she's going to have a problem with it. If it's okay with you, Mr. Peterson, I'd like to give at least a three-week notice. There's a project that I'm working on that I really need to help them complete before I leave. I wouldn't feel right leaving them uh, in a bind. What do you need, Evans? Mr. Gilroy, I've been offered another position. So therefore, I will be putting in my notice, effective today. Evans, you can't do that. I forbid it. What am I supposed to do about the Johnson Project? Mr. Gilroy, I will give you a three-week notice, but that's it. <laughs> Don't do it, Evans. I need you. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> if you never want to miss another episode of Note to Self, show me some love and hit the subscribe button. And remember, God loves you and he only wants to have a better relationship with you. Until next time, my brothers and sisters, peace.